So at the moment, beef cattle farmers are enjoying some record high prices pretty much across the board. Anything from uh, very low quality um, cow cattle, uh, as well as um, it, you know, as well as obviously steer beef animals, um, and also restockers, and, and everything. Obviously, at the moment, we've you know, as is pretty evident, there's there's water everywhere, so to speak, across the eastern states, and this is this sort of prolonged period of. Um, call it sort of abnormal I suppose, um, wet winter that we've had um, has really put a pinch on numbers and as a result of that we've seen livestock prices hit record highs. Um, obviously it's been well publicised that Eastern Young Cattle Indicator has hit and stayed above the $7 mark now for oh, you know four to six weeks. Um, this however is having a bit of a dampening effect on beef demand um, both here at home and globally. Um, we operate in a, in a competitive global marketplace and with Australian beef being priced at well above um, other competitors, namely US beef or Brazil or anything from South America for that matter and also New Zealand, um, it makes it pretty pretty difficult um, to sell, uh, to achieve high prices um, in the global marketplace for Australian beef at the moment. What we've seen this year is a uh, pretty severe tightening of cattle numbers. And this has come off the back of well above average um, weekly slaughter numbers that have been processed throughout 2013, 2014 and 2015 um, due to the ongoing dry conditions experienced across the eastern states during that time. So 2016 has seen a very sharp sort of reversal of fortunes I guess you'd call it with extensive rain um, which has been followed up by a tightening of numbers as well as some pretty fierce restocker activity which has led to some record high cattle prices. Um, the experts at um, MLA and other organisations, ABEAR and, and, and those sorts of people around the place are predicting that numbers will remain low for the rest of this year for a good part of um, 2017 and the Australian beef herd probably won't start to expand in numbers until 2018. Um, I guess you, you know you could sort of draw the conclusion that you could expect cattle prices to be reasonably firm, um, maybe not record, but certainly fairly solid for you know at least the next sort of 18 to, to 24 months as a result of that.